Welcome back to our continuing adventures on the Let's Defend platform. Today we are tackling SOC 167 or LS, Command Detected in Requested URL. Event ID is 117, type is Web Attack for February 27th, 2022, 12.36am. It looks like we're dealing with another incident with Elliot Prod. At least that seems familiar. Oh, I've done so many of these now. Ah, <laughs> uh, so let's see. It's a get request. It's trying to go to let's defend.io slash bog slash question mark s equals skills. Alert trigger reason. URL contains ls. Well, technically, but it's in the word skills. But let's see about digging into what we have. We're not going to need email checks on this one, and we'll take a look at the endpoint security. So, first off, let's confirm Elliot Prod is indeed the... One seven one seventy two sixteen seventeen forty six. Yes, okay. So give me fifty and then isolate it just here. And is this one eighty eight one one four ninety six fifteen? Yes, that is the destination IP address that we're seeing here. So let's take a look at everything here. So we're looking at blog, it was permitted. Two hundred HTTP viewers. Yeah. Response code, and we've got a, a decent sized response. Blog, how to become a SOC analyst. User agent, Mozilla, fine, get permitted. Again, nice sized res response size, and 200 for the response code. And more of the same, how to analyze RTF template injection attacks. Same thing as before, nice size response, 200 code. Red team versus blue team, learn the difference. All the same stuff as previously covered. How to prepare SOC analyst resume. Again. All the same, still sticking at the 200 response code, nice size response. And here's the search, so I'm assuming this must be search for skills. Yes, no. Yes, you searched for skills. But again, nice size response, permitted, 200 code. And so effectively what we're looking at is something that is overzealous for detection. It happens. What's the old moniker? Playing on the blue team, you have to be right 100% of the time, whereas the bad guys just had to be right once so I guess I can understand that <sighs> although you probably would want to, want to put a little bit more logic in the alert to look for I guess common words that would uh, flag that would contain LS but so let's move that back there and oh, apparently we've not done anything with Elliot Prod, at least underneath the security analyst path. We might have done something with the uh, underneath DFIR. But okay, let's take a look. Anything here that saw so on the twenty seventh? So we are seeing a match in the activity. So we see that they did indeed. Everything matches in terms of the perimeter, firewall logs, right? Firewall. Oh, proxy. But their web browser history does cover all that. It looks like they ran the date command. Yeah, not anything. 
and of course all to the same IP address that we had recently observed inside the proxy logs. Process logs cannot be found. That's an older Ubuntu box. So as I'm looking at this, yeah, as I'm looking at this, I think we're going to have a true positive on the detection. But technically, it's going to be a false positive because they're looking for the actual ls command. Yes. LS in skills is inside the URL. Excuse me. It's been an interesting Friday thus far. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we're going to run through this stuff. Okay, had a chance to sit there and think on this before going any further. Just a short think. So, my first impulse is to mark it. Yes, true positive, because it is... We do have LS in there. But I think that might, might be wrong. Because they're looking for the actual LS as the Linux command to sit there, like the equivalent to the DIR inside Windows command prompt to basically list the uh, contents of a folder. So I think it's intended for, okay, use of L or the Linux command ls. Well, it's not what this one's doing, so I'm thinking this is actually going to be a false positive. I've got to kind of... Um, Try to think as to what the intent of the rule was, everything else along those lines. I mean, from the, the quick and dirty is, yes, it contains LS without any sort of extra forethought. But I... Yeah, I'm just going to say it's false positive. We will see as to whether or not if this is a right assumption to make or a wrong assumption to make. But we will deal with it as we come across it. Because it even does the capital LS in the portion. So it, it's definitely looking for the Linux command. And it being an Ubuntu box, it is a distribution of Linux. So it would be an expected something that uh, to see through. Although I think you can also do the same thing on Windows underneath PowerShell. Uh, I'll play with that later. Um, okay, I understand why the alert was triggered, because we have the two letters together, L and S, in the word skills. This is basically an internal machine going out to an external machine, namely to whatever the web server is for Let's Defend. Collect data, ownership of the IP address, everything else along those lines. Yeah, I think we've got that... Oh man, apparently I more did not get enough sleep. Yes, it is coming from the company network, the Elliot Prod machine. Although everything makes this look like it is. Okay, so we've looked at, we've already examined the traffic. It is not malicious because everything is all just straight requests to the Let's Defend website to take a look at various blog postings up to the point of the one that or triggered the alert, but that's a search for the word skills on the same site. So, not malicious. Is there a different request? There might be different malicious traffic coming from the same source device.
check if there's different traffic from the same source. Besides, for what triggered the rule? Sure, plenty of it all to the Let's Defend website, along with the same exact IP address. Is that traffic malicious? No, it's all just basically web browsing. Uh, so, looks to be in overly. Um, Really broad rule for LS as it detected the LS from the word skills. And okay, that finishes the playbook. So here's the question. Then because we looked at the traffic, nothing else is there. Nothing stands out process-wise, web browser history-wise, network-wise. It all looks benign. Bananas. Uh, I'm going to say false positive on this one. And we're going to apply the same thing, and let's see what we get. Okay. <laughs> uh, apparently it was a good thing to actually sit there and have a second of, uh, well, second thought in regards to as to how to process that then. Of course, I guess, yeah, sometimes just got to slow down. LS command detected and requested URL when we've proven that it's not just the letters ls are inside of a url so okay that has been soc 167 ls command detected in requested url event id 117 type web attack for february 27th 2022 12 36 a.m wow short video okay then with all that being said, I will see everyone in the next video.